Good evening there people out in the world of YouTube and the internet. Cameron coming to you from the wonderful city of Geelong in Victoria, Australia. And I've decided tonight to do another Beatles video. What I'll do is just go over my albums that I own one by one. I'm, I'm not going to um, do the just, you know, a couple of individual songs that I may have ripped off um, iTunes, but I'm just going to do the, the songs, the albums that I've got, and I think there's a couple that I've left at home before, you know, before I moved out of home, several years ago now, um, that, <laughs> that I've left there that I, that I won't be able to bring, but what I'll do is I'll do the ones that I've got with me. The first album, Please Please Me, this of course is the Beatles' first album, and just a slight anomaly with this album is that the songs are credited McCartney Lennon rather than Lennon McCartney. I don't know why, but if anyone knows why, they can drop a comment in the comment section and advise me. Next one I've got is an LP. This particular LP with the Beatles. Um, I've had in my possession for about 24 years. Um, I don't know how long my grandparents had it before then. Um, probably it's really my dad's album, but he wasn't really interested in it. Um, so my grandparents gave it to me. Now, by now, the songs are credited Lennon McCartney. Revolver. I've sort of started buying a few more albums by the Beatles just to, just to um, you know, get an appreciation of their lesser known songs. In this particular case, you know, a song like "She Said She Said," um, that was one I didn't really, hadn't really heard of or hear there and everywhere. I think I'd heard that that was these two songs were Beatles songs, of course, but I'd never really heard them. It's such a wealth of. Um, talented um you know talent from the beatles um you can't really get around to hearing every song of theirs on the radio and the revolver album i think is just before sergeant peppers i may be wrong on that people can let me know but i, I think it is this although you can't see it on the oh you probably can't really see it is a self-titled album. The just the Beatles, colloquially known, probably haven't pronounced that word correctly, as the White Album. Um, a double album, and as I was saying, you know, just got this to get an appreciation of some of their lesser-known songs. I'd say that this is a heavier album, or is one of their heaviest albums, and I'd just say overall it is a Heavy, a heavy album. Um, you know, like the song Helter Skelter is very heavy and it's just, um, yes, yeah, so something different from the Beatles. Who can forget this iconic album cover? Parodied many times over by the likes of The Simpsons, I believe. I'm sure I've seen them parody it. And, of course, who can forget the conspiracy theories about this particular album cover? You know, it dated back to the White Album, actually, and even earlier. Um, but, you know, they said the White Album didn't have the Beatles on it because by then Paul was dead. And this particular one, apparently it's a funeral procession. Um, I forget the exact order, but apparently Paul... You see Paul McCartney there... He's out of step with the other Beatles. Um, he's barefoot, and you know he's smoking a cigarette with it. He's holding a cigarette in his right hand. Of course, he was he is left-handed. Um, but of course, done a bit of research here, and the Beatles performed quite a few takes of this album cover, and you can see some other ones where. Um, where Paul McCartney was wearing sandals. Bit of a strange story. Um, apparently he took his sandals off because his feet were hot. Um, you know, I don't understand how walking on a hot bitumen road 
would be cooler than having your feet in the sandals. Although, you know, mate, well, maybe the white bits weren't hot. <laughs> Although he's not avoiding the black bits of the road there, but never mind. Um, yeah, we know that it's rubbish. But Paul McCartney is not dead. Paul McCartney is well and truly alive. Um, this particular album, I believe, has got some of the best George Harrison work on it. Um, George Harrison wrote something, and he also did um, Here Comes the Sun. Some of his best songs, um, in fact, the whole band is on fire in, um, in something. Some of awesome bass playing from Paul, the rhythm guitar from, from John, of course, George, who wrote the song, and, you know, Ringo, as usual, he's Ringo, he's, he's a metronome, he's just um, a very good um, drummer. Um, some of the songs at the end sort of flow into each other. Um, but, you know, yes, uh, to be honest, some of the songs, I'm not a, uh, you know, some die-hard Beatles fans would love everything that the Beatles ever did. They could do no wrong, but a song like Maxwell's Silver Hammer and probably Octopus's Garden, although it was about the one song Ringo wrote, I, I think he wrote another one on one of the other albums, but, um... Octopus Garden, actually, it's not bad. It's just a bit of fun. Um, Maxwell Silverhammer, I just thought, was a silly song. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Come Together. But look, other other songs like, as I was something, um, Here Comes the Sun, and I really like Oh Darling. This is a quite a good album. Um, I believe it was the I believe it was the last album they actually recorded although it was released before Let It Be, which is my next album. Another photo that has been parodied or spoofed quite often, um, and I look at it here, and yeah, I like, of course, it's named after the, the song Let It Be, and if you look at this particular, listen to this particular cut of Let It Be, the album version, um, you will find this, you know, the guitar solo on the album version of Let It Be is ten times, well, uh, it sounds a lot better, in my humble opinion, than the single one of, um, the single guitar solo on the song Let It Be, I believe. When the single was released later, it was overdubbed. Um, well, funnily enough, I, I read the other day, or didn't read, but saw the other... No, no, I read it. It wasn't actually spoken, but it credits the guitar solo on Let It Be to John Lennon rather than George. I was sure I've seen video footage when they were recording the song of George performing the guitar solo. But then it is the long and winding road, um on this album as well and it's that's got like some good orchestration in the background although I believe Paul McCartney didn't like that orchestration. Mm. Funny funnily enough, um, a lot of the songs are performed live on this particular album. Um, but funnily enough I believe Paul didn't like the orchestration in Long and Winding Road. I think I think it's brilliant. Um, on the back it hasn't got the got a green apple, it's got a red apple. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a <laughs> who cares sort of thing, but it's just a bit of fun. Um, now, probably, you know, the song Let It Be is a bit, you know, it's, I don't know if Paul McCartney's mother had already died, but um, the song, you know, when I mention Mother of the Mary, is not um, not the Mary as in Jesus' mum. Um, it is apparently Paul McCartney's own mum. Um, if I had a dead relative come to me, in my hour of darkness or standing up, I'd probably crack myself. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, that's one of their most well-known songs. And yeah, this album, I believe, a lot of the songs were recorded live. Um, and it was released after Abbey Road, but I, my understanding is it was recorded before Abbey Road. Just a couple of compilation albums I'll just quickly gloss over. Past Masters, uh, you've got the iconic 
Beatles font. It appears on the drums, I believe. I haven't got a photo of the drums right here in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that that particular way, you know, font and the way it's laid out is on the drum from memory. Um, so that's, that's past and masters. The blue album from the second half of the Beatles' career. I've got the red album. I think I left the red album at home before I moved out of home and never got around to bringing it with me. But um, this particular, it sort of starts from about the Sergeant Pepper's era and to the end, the last song is The Long and Winding Road. Lastly is the last, uh, is not the last, sorry, is Anthology 2. From about the middle of the Beatles' career, um, sort of starting at about the help era, uh, I, I think, or sort of Ticket to Ride Yesterday, sort of that part of their career, and then um, goes, finishes it across the universe. Um, and then, of course, there's more. There's a third anthology. Uh, but this one's got, like, um, Real Love on it, which is a song, I believe, John Lennon released in his own right, but they did a Beatles cut as well in about 1995. So there you have it, some of my, well, pretty much my Beatles collection. Uh, feel free to drop comments in the comment section, which songs do you like, which songs don't you like, and we'll take it all from there. Until now, I will sign off. Cheers.